but I did porch because I typically apply my applique applic apply my application pro filter wait madilim madilim kasi hindi namin makita no hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a demo and review of the new Fenty Beauty by Rihanna foundation and I'm also gonna try on their kilowatt highlighter in the shade trophy wife I did not purchase all or the entire collection but if you love Rihanna and you want to support her all the way and you want to buy all the products in this collection go for it so Fenty Beauty just launched last September 8th and I will never forget the launch of Fenty Beauty because it was my birthday and fortunately I was at North Park and I was new here in Dallas so one of my friends asked if I want to go to North Park and I said oh okay sige I miss North Park and I was looking forward to Lechon Macau, Shanghai Rose, things like that because in the Philippines the North Park is a restaurant a Chinese restaurant and then to my surprise ang North Park pala dito ay isang malaking mall and I was like, asa na yung Shanghai Rose tsaka Lechad Macau? Hindi pala siya yung restaurant dyan sa atin. Anyways, wala talaga akong plan na pumunta sa Sephora North Park. But, for some reasons, napadaan kami dun sa Sephora North Park. Promise, hindi ko talaga pinlano. Napadaan lang talaga kami. And nung napadaan ako, nakita ko yung mga balloons. Kasi kaka-open lang nung branch na yun. Parang, I think, it's a new branch. Or I think, pinalaki nila yung branch na yun. I just can't resist Sephora. So when I was there, I found out na when you drop by uh, a Sephora branch pala on your birthday, you can have a 15-minute mini makeover. I took advantage of that and I met one of their artists or beauty consultants. His name is Sergio, I believe. He's really friendly. All the products that he used on my face are from Fenty Beauty. So I was observing him while he was applying the products on my face and there are some products that really stood out for me but there are some products that I was like, mm, it's okay, I can get it from a drugstore brand now, way cheaper. The first product here is her Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and first of all, the shade range is amazing. She has 40 shades. It can accommodate very light skin tone to very deep skin tone. And that's something na hindi ginagawa ng lahat ng high-end brands. Dun palang two thumbs up na siya for me. Anyway, so this foundation costs $34. But if you look at Sephora PH, this foundation costs $1,950. So almost the same lang naman yung prices niya. Parang 200 pesos lang yung difference. But you need to consider then yung sales tax dito and then yung shipping. And I think that's another good thing about this brand. Kasi it launched this at the same time, at the same date sa iba-ibang country. So another two thumbs up for Fenty Beauty for making it available to a lot of people all over the world. Anyways, going back, so I did purchase the foundation and we are going to talk more about this in a little bit. Then she also launched highlighters, which I am most excited about. Two of them are standalones. One is Metal Moon, which is kind of like a white highlighter that I think is perfect for people with very fair skin. And the other one is Trophy Wife. But the other highlighters come in duos. Um, it looks something like this. I think there are four duos in this collection. Yeah, there are four. First of all, I love the names of these products. Girl Next Door and Chic Free. Mean Money and Hustla Baby. Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And the last highlighter duo is lightning dust and fire crystal each of the standalone highlighters and the duos cost 34 dollars or let me confirm that because i don't want to lie to you guys so okay that's 1950 pesos if you buy it from sephora ph all right so like what i mentioned i did purchase two products from fenty beauty and those are the fenty beauty pro filter foundation and of course i got the kilowatt highlighter in the shade trophy wife so this is how the packaging looks like and it's very edgy it's very rihanna so let's talk about the foundation first i got the one in the shade 340 i was so happy when i saw um a picture of rihanna i think it was for their instagram account and i found out that we have the same shade at least a shade man lang diba pareho kami ni rihanna <laughs> 
The actual packaging looks really simple, but I think it looks classy and clean. And I like that in a packaging. It comes in a glass tube and hindi siya yung magaan na glass. Medyo mabigat siya. And I love that it comes with a pump. But it has 32 ml or 1.08 fluid ounce worth of product. You can get a little bit more product from this foundation compared to other foundation. So let me show you how the foundation looks like. It's actually very runny. Really liquidy. So if you notice, yeah, it's very runny, very liquidy. It looks really orange on the screen, but I tested it. I've used it a few times already. And it's just perfect for my skin tone. That's how it looks like if we spread it. So check out that coverage. It will make your face look really flawless. Some beauty vloggers that I've watched mentioned that this oxidizes, so they recommend getting a shade or two shades lighter. But for me, I did really notice a change in its color or shade um, after I applied it on my face. So I don't know if it's a skin thing. So if you notice, that's completely dry already. And for me, it really looks the same. But let me know in the comment section below if you notice a difference in the color. Like when Sarah was applying it on my face, I was instantly impressed because my face looked really flawless. And if you notice, I have a lot of um, pimple scars or pimple marks. Yung mga itim itim gents. I think my skin was adjusting to the weather or the temperature. I had a lot of breakouts and I also have very dry patches at cheeks area ko. Yeah, it has been so hard to look for a foundation that will not emphasize my dry patches. But this one, I love it because it doesn't cling to your dry patches. It's like adding a whole new layer of skin to my face. Yes, I'm not even exaggerating. I'll share the rest of my thoughts on this foundation later today because I plan to do um, a few check-ins to show you guys how it looks like all throughout the day. But let's go ahead and proceed to the next and the last product that I purchased from the brand. This is their Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife. First of all, I think the name of the highlighter is just really interesting. This is how the actual packaging looks like. And at the back, you will see Trophy One. You will also see there that it has 8.0 grams worth of product. Now, on to the actual show. Oh my goodness, look at how pretty that is. That is one swipe. Check that out. Look at that pigmentation. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you. Oh my goodness. Now let's go ahead and apply it on my face because I have been dying for some coverage and some highlight on my face. So I'm just currently using one pump. Since I typically use um, a damp makeup sponge to apply my foundation, I'm going to use that for the left side of my face. And then on the right side of my face, I will be using a brush. So if you take a closer look at the coverage, super bonga ng coverage niya. One important thing you need to know about this foundation, guys, is, is it dries really fast. So you don't want to put dots of foundation all over your face because you may need to spend more time blending it because the foundation is starting to dry. So keep in mind that this foundation dries super fast. So this is the side of my face with the foundation on. If you notice, it instantly makes your face or your skin looks so flawless and that's just one pump so a little goes a long way you don't need to be scared about adding a lot of products or if you want another layer that's also fine because this foundation is very 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 lightweight it's not tacky at all i honestly feel na parang wala lang akong foundation i don't see my veins here which is normally my complaint for foundation. <laughs> but if you turn to this side, you will see all of my blemishes there and all of my visible veins. And then let's see if it's gonna make a difference if you apply it using a brush. Again, it's very runny.
So I still have some extra foundation at the back of my hand. And if you notice, it didn't really cover the pimple marks. But we are going to go ahead and try to add another layer. Let's see if this is buildable. I am coming closer. I hope I'm close enough for you to see how it looks like. So this is how the foundation looks like on my face. This side I use a sponge and I applied just one layer and this side I used a brush and I applied two layers. I felt the need for another layer on this side of my face because first of all, I have darker veins on this side and I wanted to test if this foundation can conceal those pimple marks. And it did, but you just have to add another layer. So guys, if you don't have a lot of flaws to conceal, one layer and you're good to go. And this foundation is indeed buildable. And even if I applied two layers of foundation in this side, it still feels lightweight. It's not as heavy and as thick as other foundation. For the past few days that I've been wearing it, I never set it with any powder and I'm okay with it. I actually survived a day without touching up and I'm gonna try my best to show you guys how long wearing it is so let me go ahead and finish this look hey guys I'm back and I am almost done with today's makeup look I just need to apply a little bit of highlighter and this is the moment that I've been waiting for okay let's dip our brush that's just one swipe and in the real world, when I highlight my face, I don't just settle for one swipe. I swirl my brush on the highlighter to get as much highlighter as I can. Oh, by the way, just a friendly warning. This is a hyper metallic highlighter, so this is not subtle at all. One thing I noticed about this highlighter as well, it has the tendency to spread out all over your face. I don't know what's going on, but I always find little bits of glitters all over my face and my body and my shirt at the end of the day. And I'm gonna try to come as close as possible so you guys can see how it looks like after just one swipe. Oh my god, that's just the one swipe. See, you will definitely shine bright like a diamond if you apply this highlighter on your face. Oh my god. So this is my face without any highlighter. And then, bam. I've never seen anything like this before. This is very unique. I think this is the first of its kind. So let's go ahead and apply it on this side and I want to show you guys how it looks like if we apply it using a fan brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip it. Two swipes. And then apply it there. Oh my god. Hindi pala siya subtle kahit fan brush guys. So maghunos dili kayo. So this is how it looks like using this brush and this is how it looks like using the fan brush. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit on my nose and then I'm gonna use my finger. Ay, ang dumi ng fingers ko. Ano ba yan? Dip ko lang siyang ganyan. If you notice, hindi ko siya gagalawin. Ganyan yung itsura. Kasi ayoko naman na super shiny yung nose ko. So dito lang. Oh my god. So we are done with our look. I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. It is currently 9.54 in the morning. I will do some check-ins once in a while and keep you guys posted on how the foundation and highlighter look like all throughout the day. I'll make sure to check back in with you guys once in a while. So, sounds like a plan. Kakain muna ako ng breakfast and then I'll be right back for my first check-in. Hi guys, I'm back. So, 2.19 na in the afternoon and it's been about an hours by nine ish 10 ish 11 12 1 2 it's been about five hours already i'm gonna pull you guys a little bit closer so you can see how the foundation looks like what oh, sabi ko nga closer di ba talaga ba Yan. So, ganyan yung tune ng foundation. Yung dito ko na area, medyo nag-oil up na ng konti. But not as oily as usual. And 
if you think about it, I did not apply any concealer. I did not set it with any powder. So this is actually pretty amazing because usually after five hours, my forehead is really oily. I mean, really oily that I would need to blot. But I haven't blot yet. I haven't touched up. And this is how it looks like. So far, so good for the foundation. I really love how it looks like. It's not very oily yet. It's not cakey. It still feels lightweight. I don't feel like I have foundation on and I really want to test this foundation. I want to see its full potential I'm just gonna leave it as it is for the highlighter Do I even need to say anything about the highlighter? I don't know what's in this highlighter, but it still looks stunning Look at that and I would like to remind you guys that I only use one swipe. Can you imagine if I swirled my brush on the highlighter? Oh my god, that's gonna be crazier than this. Both products are doing an amazing job. So I'm gonna continue my day and we'll check back in with you guys in a few. Hi guys, it's already 4.29 in the afternoon and I just thought of checking back in with you and showing you guys how the foundation and highlighter looks like using natural lighting. It's not as sunny anymore because medyo hapon na and hindi na ganun ka late mag sunset dito sa Texas. I'm just using the lighting from our window um, and ganyan yung niya. The highlighter is still amazingly there. I am super impressed with this highlighter. The foundation also looks pretty good. I don't have anything else planned yet. Baka magtutupihin na lang ako ng damit. And magliligpit ako kasi we uh, went out last weekend. Nag-staycation kami. So, tatanggalin ko yung mga gamit namin dyan. And then, babalik ko na lang yung iba sa dresser. And yung iba, lalaban ko kasi laundry na siya. And ngayon, magtutupihin na lang ako ng damit. Nagpunta ako kanina sa mail room uh, to see if we have mail. But we don't. Para na may magsusulat talaga sa akin. Anyway, so, padalan nyo naman ako na sulat, guys. Para may makuha daw ako sa mail room. I'm currently watching I'm currently watching Pretty Little Liars kasi wala akong mapanood na iba. If you have any other shows on Netflix na you can recommend, let me know. I'm gonna check back in with you guys and that will probably be my final check-in for the day. I'll see you guys in a few. Hey guys, I'm back for my final check-in and mukha na akong dugyot-dugyot ah. So, kakagising ko lang for ma... Para ko nasing. So, kakagising ko lang for ma quick nap. I think I nap for like an hour or so. And kaya, nabura na yung kilay ko dito ng konti. Huwag nyo nang laitin. So, nag-nap kasi ako ng nakaganun. Um, anyway, so it's already 7.39 in the evening and I've been wearing this for... Ito na naman, mabibilang na naman ako. Nine-ish. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. So around 10 hours. So I've been wearing this for around 10 hours. And ganyan yung tsura niya. Dito parang okay pa yung highlight. Tsaka yung bronzer ko. And definitely okay na okay pa yung kilay ko. Pero on this side, kumalat na yung highlight ko. And then you can definitely see my veins and my blemishes there peeking through. And it must be because I took a nap and I was laying on this side. Kaya medyo nabura na yung foundation. Pero after 10 hours na ganito yung itsura niya, still pretty impressive. My forehead is of course oily. Pero hindi pa ako nagbablot, hindi pa ako nagtouch up. And oily nga siya. Pero it's kind of like dewy. Hindi siya super oily talaga. It may look different if you have oily to very oily skin type. Again, I have combination skin. Kaya, siguro hindi pa siya ganun ka oily. Your results may vary depending on your skin type. Right now, I have dry patches all over my cheeks, but it doesn't cling to your um, dry patches. Unlike other foundation na na emphasize yung dry patches mo, this one doesn't do that. It actually conceal it and makes your skin looks really flawless for a really long time. It also doesn't give me that itchy feeling na kapag masyadong matagal yung makeup sa face mo, it can get very itchy. This one doesn't do that. Again, this is how it looks like after 10 hours. And I have to say, I am super duper, ka duper impressed with this foundation. 
I can't think of anything that I would want to improve. I say it gives me everything I need. The coverage, the flawless looking, the matte finish. It doesn't cling to my dry patches. It's just everything that I need in a foundation. I'm telling you guys, this one is super must have and super sulit siya. A little goes a long way. Wala na akong ibang masabi. Wala akong maisip na gusto kong i-improve. Wala. I can't say anything bad about this product because I am so obsessed with this right now. All right, now for the highlighter. Like what I said earlier, this is hyper metallic. So if you don't want blinding highlighters, this is not for you. But if blinding is your middle name, then this is something that you should have in your collection. I strongly recommend recommend these products super worth it sha. so that's it for this demo and review guys i hope you find this helpful if you have any recommendations questions or whatnot don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below all the information about prices etc etc should be in the info box so go ahead and check that out if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up before you leave this channel thank you guys for watching this video as always i appreciate your love and support and i'll see you in the next one bye hey guys sorry nakatulog ulit ako but i thought of checking in it's already 9.05 in the evening and this is how the foundation looks like kalat kalat na yung highlighters ko and i'm just using my phone for this check-in and i know tinapos ko na kanina kasi sabi ko maliligo na ako and i felt so sticky and my hair feels so dirty but i decided to take a nap again so i thought of checking in before i shower and this is how it looks like. Kalat kalat na yung highlighter ko kasi nagnap ulit ako. And this is what I was telling you guys about earlier na kumakalat yung highlighter. So if you don't like highlighters na kumakalat kalat in the middle of the day or at the end of the day, then I don't recommend this highlighter for you. But the foundation still looks really good. Sobrang bongga pa din ng foundation and I really love it. If you have not purchased this yet, this is a foundation that you should have in your collection, especially if you're someone who loves full coverage and long wearing foundation. This gets a two thumbs up for me. I can't give it two thumbs up because my other hand is holding the phone, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and shower and I'll see you guys in my next video. So I can highlight my spaf, my face, but both. 218 in the afternoon. Ay, asa na yun? 218 in uh, no, 219. <laughs> Boy, sit na yun talaga. Talaga ba? Maliligo na ako kasi nanalagkit na yung ulo ko. Ang lagkit-lagkit ko na.